only one buck. Your weight in coleslaw, three bucks. Uh-uh. Sticky buns by the tons, 250. Still too much. All the eggs you can eat, one dollar. Now that's for me. Say, Bub, who do I talk to about getting some eggs? Oh, hello, you. That would be me. I'm the operator of this here establishment. Ribbit. Ribbit, now, if you want them eggs, you skedaddle into the barn here. You can have all the eggs you can carry. Yes, Ree. <laughs> Thin dozen. Yummiest yolk. Most likely to be scrambled. See how you been. Hey there, Feather Pie. I'm Booster, the giant rooster. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just an old country rooster. Looking for a nest to share with a champion egg layer like you, my little chickadee. How's about sweets for a sweetie? Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. One custom-made nest cozy to keep those little champs' ears warm, mama. Oh. Now come on out here so as I can meet you beak to beak. Review. 
If you don't hear from us, it's because there were bigger, better eggs out there. In all the years me and Mort been doing this, you're the first one to get an egg. And that's some egg. What's the secret? Well, fellas, sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. <laughs> so what say maybe you'd like a chance at a free side of bacon? It isn't my neighbor, the Moocher. Could you possibly spare a small bite? I'm short on groceries this week. Well, sure, chump. Uh, uh, Woody. I'll sample the burger to make sure it's cooked. By Yiminy. Ooh. How rude of me. Wally, buddy, how about that morsel of food? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. It must have slipped my mind. That'll fix you. Why don't you get a job and stop mooching off others? Hey, Wally, your barbecue smells kind of foul. Hello? The IRS? I'm being audited? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Oh, and if they see all my food, they think I'm rich for sure. I love a good game of hide-and-seek. Hello. Can I help? I'm from the Internal Food Revenue Service. Internal Food Revenue Service? Step aside, tax evader. According to official records, you have never, ever filed a food return. By George, it must be a yoke. Does this look like you filed taxes? Ooh, a heavy tax here. Yumpin' yiminy. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'll be the judge of that. This warrant entitles me to search your premises. Failure to comply could mean jail time. Got it, bub? <coughs> hmm. Very clever, Mr. Walrus. You've hidden the utensils, too. Quit holding out and produce the goods. I have nothing to hide. We'll see about that. Incriminating evidence. Looks like jail time to me. Uh, it belongs to, uh, the former owner of the house. The case against you is building, Mr. Walrus. Oh, uh, mm, that's my pet, uh, Lil' Orange. It's a half-eaten carrot, genius. That's it. <laughs> I knew it! Hard 
Red Sicilian Salami. But I've never even been to Sicily. Tell it to the judge. This evidence must be treated with the utmost care. It has to be kept in this protective coating and dealt with properly. <laughs> Mr. Walrus, what are you keeping behind this door? Hmm? Try and explain this. That's not an eating ham. That's a plumbing ham. 95% for the government. No, please. I was saving that for my retirement. Explain this. Ah, oh, shucks, Mr. Walrus. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, this will cost you dearly. You're going down. Solitary confinement. Oh, no. And that would leave you with... Prison food. No! Anything but that. I confess. I've got food hidden all over the house. Be merciful. Completes your audit, Mr. Walrus. <gasps> My food. Hmm? What? IRS, Mr. Walrus. It has come to our attention that you are owing 37 years in back taxes. Huh? But I thought that... Uh, didn't I just... Wait! What are you doing? leaves you with 1% of your body fat. Your account is fully paid up. Thank you for doing business with the IRS. Mmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Uh, hello, sport. Could you spare some food for a guy down on his luck? Sure, you're just in time. The delivery truck just came. Fresh logs with all the termites you can eat. Taste like chicken. Dig in.
eat special. Ice cream cones, only 25 cents. One super duper cool cone, Bob. <laughs> before I melt. Hey, Wally's Market, cool inside. Hatcha! <laughs> it's a hot bun for sure, but my cool specials will bring in the cool cash, you bet. Say, where's the coolest spot in your market? The cool is for paying customers. Are you buying something, maybe? Listen, buddy. Cool off before I can think about shopping. The heat out there almost melted my beak. Go cool someplace else. Nobody owns cool air. <laughs> Mommy, let's hurry. I want a popsicle. Oh, ho, ho. welcome back to Wally's Market, Mrs. Fanny Winkle. I'm always happy to see my best customer. Yeah. yeah. Ah, cool at last. <laughs> Time for the daily produce inspection. Good coloring, yeah. Firm, very nice rind. Ah, fresh. Mmm, fresher. Mm. Say, uh, buddy. That's my melon. There are you, you freeloading woodpecker. You're not going to use my cool air without paying for something. Psst. Try the melon on the bottom row. Wait a minute. Woodpecker! You can't hide from me, Woodpecker. Oh, boy! A pool! Mr. Walrus. Ah, the, the fresh. Why, you bet. It's the freshest woodpecker I will ever sell, yeah. I'll take it. Oh, man! <laughs> well, what do you know? The frozen food aisle. I'll never be hot again. Please, I make it up to you by giving 10% off all your purchases. 20%. <laughs> Mesos Fanny Winkle! Wait! Oh, my. <laughs> you want cool, Woodpecker? I give you the cool! Gotcha! <gasps> oh, Mrs. Fanny Winkle, wait! Wait! Mrs. Fanny Winkle, 
Mrs. Fanny Winkle, as my most valued customer, please accept this rare, one-of-a-kind frozen woodsicle as a gift for your son. Wowie can dowie! A woodsicle! Oh, well. <laughs> if Francis is happy, all right. You're forgiven, Mr. Walrus. <laughs> <laughs> It's alive! Oh, I will never, ever shop here again! Meat, meat, everywhere meat and not a single vegetable to be found. I really must move to a more civilized climate. <laughs> oh, just so, old chap. What you need is a proper feast of veggies and tapioca pudding. <laughs> One ice rutabaga, some snowball Brussels sprouts, and some nice icicle carrots. Bravo! A positively brilliant meal. Satisfied now, old boy? Oh, no! We aren't hungry anymore, old boy. There can be no boiled ham if we are to be proper vegetarians. <laughs> Nor the hot dog. It, too, is a meat byproduct. I will have no more of your carnivorous charade shenanigans. Hmm. Perhaps a good snooze will get your mind back in order. Nice warm smell of fire. No, it can't be, but it is a succulent stuffed squab. <laughs> no, oh dear, I really can't go back to my old ways. The life of a carnivore is so detestable. I will not touch the squab. All animal life is precious to me. However, one cannot completely deny one's weaknesses. I wouldn't... Hmm, not bad. Young, nice. Playful yet delicate. Tastes of cinnamon, blueberries, uh, and just a hint of, of. Ah, yes, smoked salmon, of course! <laughs> My finicky feasting must not be fouled by that frigid fowl!
look. This is you. This is me. And being a civilized vegetarian, I nonetheless have all the natural urges of my forefathers. The most primal of all these urges is to consume meat products. And so, my dear Jeeves, you being just such a bully meat product yourself, should therefore vamoose. Understand? The dear boy undoubtedly took the hint. After all, you can't argue with logic. Sorry, lad, but I must take drastic measures. Where to, Mac? Uh, the lad would like to go to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Okay, Mac, load him up. And now, back to my nap. Jolly bad luck. Now look here, Jeeves. You, you can't just bully well go around behaving with such willy-minded duckiness. <coughs> <coughs> This is the last straw. I am leaving now, and you will bully well stay here. Do you comprehend? <laughs> oh, what now, old boy? A tropical island? I say, we are due for a vacation, aren't we? And bananas are quite lovely this time of year. To the islands, then! Oh, don't tell me you've grown attached to the diminutive squab now, have you? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could take this little fellow along. You'd finally leave me alone if I took you someplace warm and cosy? <laughs> All right, then it's settled. We'll have a smashing good time. Oh, I'll make us all banana splits, banana pudding, ooh, banana pie, bananas flaming. We serve all kinds of good stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Am I hungry? Think I'll go in and fill up. Ah, uh, fully closed. And just when I'm in the mood for food. Good morning. 
May I help you? Yeah. How about a menu? I beg your pardon? A menu. Menu. M-E-N-N-Y-O-U-U. -U. Menu. Perhaps you mean our price list, hmm? Yeah. What's your ceiling prices? Today. Could be. We all have our off days. Hmm. Uh, cut out the smart crack and bring me some food. Uh, bring me some French fried soup and a big T-bone steak smothered in pork chop. And uh, let's see what else I have. <laughs> Wildlife ranger, I'm sworn to protect all endangerous critters in these here harsh weather conditions. 
That means making sure the rare albino polar bear who lives in this here cave has food to eat all winter long, a nice warm place to make nappy time, and some entertainment appliances for his personal enjoyment. <laughs> now to get myself acquainted with the big fella. Huh? Now, just what the heck's going on hereabouts? Well, well, what have we here? Why, you're just a normal, everyday penguin. And this here stuff is for endangerous critters like the albino polar bear. So, get! That big fella'll sleep like a baby cub on this here posterior pedic. You gotta be real careful with these ornery bear types. They can be mighty standoffish if and you don't make a good first impression. Say! Now you listen here, little fella. This bed is designed for the slumbering of one albino polar bear. Now come back here and... Hello there, mister. <laughs> well, my first encounter with the big fella didn't go so swell, but food is real hard to come by out here, and I'm sure this here Philette Mignon will warm him up to me. <laughs> Mr. Bear, got you some delectables. <laughs> Stay 20 paces away from the critter to show him that I am in no way his predator. This here penguin is really starting to crush my eyes. Sure is a heavy little fella. <laughs> Y'all might want to avert your eyes. This is gonna hurt a bit, I reckon. Like it says in the Ranger Handbook, when in pain, always revert to the standard operating declaration. Ouch! Stay out of my preserve, little fella. I'm as sure as snow on Christmas that this big screen TV will win back <laughs> that fella's affections. <laughs> I'll just put the set on mute and program all the educational-like channels for this big fella's edification. <laughs> hmm, looks like my first aid training's gonna come in mighty handy in a few seconds. <laughs> You are banished from these here parts until such time as you are in dangerous, rare, or unique, which will be never. I am officially pronouncing this banished penguin territory, so you stay put. Well, hi and howdy there, little purple penguin. Don't see much of your kind around these parts. Wait a minute. You know, I'm not as dumb as he looks. <laughs> there ain't no such thing as a purple penguin, Mr. Purple Penguin. 
Impersonating an endangerous type critter is a serious offense against nature. You know what? That's not a half bad look for you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> It is the ultra rare tropical penguin and the tropical polar bear. What a find! Now, just a credit catching minute here, short stuff. These creatures are in my charge, and I. For shame! A member of the ranger service chasing such endangered creatures? No, 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 no. These little ones deserve better. They deserve the tropical four star treatment. And you, my Arctic Ranger friend, will be sweeping out the tropical preserve paradise when I report you to headquarters! Whew. It sure is hot working here in this tropical nature preserve. <laughs> oh well, at least it's a dry heat. have a treehouse on Easy Street, you know. I had to work hard for the good life. Please let me stay. I could learn from you. All right. But if you're gonna stay, you gotta straighten up and fly right. You've gotta hold up your end of the place. Gotta come up with the rent every month. And to do that, you gotta go out and make something of yourself. You've gotta be aggressive. Can't be slacking off or looking for the easy way out of situations. No siree! No more freeloading! Now get out there and make your subspecies proud! You got it, mister. I'm gonna make that change. I'm off like 30 pounds on a grapefruit diet. Look out, world! This is one upwardly mobile cockroach coming at ya! <sighs> Just thinking about all the work he's gonna do is wearing me out. <sighs> Chester the Cockroach has got a job. I'm climbing that ladder of success. You got a job? You bet I did. And I made 50 bucks. Ah, well, uh, good work, Chester. Now you can pay me your part of the rent. But that only leaves me with two dollars. I must have added wrong. Why, you're right, Chester. Hey, now I only have one dollar. Well then, it looks like you need to go get a better job, Chester. Go out there and work, 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 little buddy. Hello, Woody. I got a huge promotion. Everything you taught me is paying off. 
<laughs> Good work, Chester. But, uh-oh, inflation, devaluation, taxation. Looks like your rent just went up a hundred bucks. Then there's your water and electric bill, TV privileges. Wait a minute! TV priv? Frequent user fee, occupancy payroll, and the unavoidable what's yours is mine pay now and then pay again later assessment commission. Thank you. Next! Well, how am I supposed to get ahead in life without money? Chester, have I taught you nothing? It's about appearances, networking, and communication. So get out there and make... My subspecies proud. <laughs> Check it out, Woody. I got a new car with brakes that could stop a bad day. Ah, time to pay your rent, Chester. You know, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of moving up in the world only to have to hand everything over to you. I've changed jobs more often than you've changed socks. You're a disgrace, and it's time to put the teacher to the test. You get a job, Woody. So get out there and work, work, work! Say, what are you up to now, Woodpecker? I'm gonna get a job. A job? <laughs> What's this world coming to? <laughs> what am I doing? If you can't beat them, move them. You know, little fella, you were right. I was? I got a job in real estate. And you watch me. Soon I'll be more upwardly mobile than the space program. You bet. But a bug with your success shouldn't have to live like this while I'm still pulling myself up by the tail feathers. No, sir. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. So, my first real estate deal is to get you set up in a house that's a home in the style to which your money is accustomed. Behold, elegance. And it comes furnished, too. But can I afford... It's not about affording. It's about investing. It's about planning for your future. It's about making things happen. It's about... Well, how much do you have? I've saved ten grand. Say, what are these walrus pictures? You know what? I'm gonna sell this place to you at cost. Sold! Gentlemen, the pride of his subspecies. You know, that little guy was right. I could be a dynamite salesperson. Work my way to the top. Nah. Cardboard is our <gasps> friend. I get you now by Yiggity. You little cockroach. I get you out of my house. This is my place. What are you doing? Help! 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 Crazy walrus!
frivolity, let's stop the frivolity and analyze the situation. In that bowl, you got a fish, right? Right. And in my stomach, I got an appetite, right? Right. Need I pursue my point any further? Let's make a merger. Your fish, my appetite, right? Right. So long, chum. It's been fun knowing you. Light pole. <laughs> 